Hey, hello everybody, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing fine. On um, today's tutorial, we'll talk about how you can blend stuff and how you can create this kind of signature. I don't know if this really looks good or cute, but uh, this type of signature is not really my type. But I try to kind of show you guys, show you guys how you can uh, do something similar to it. The first thing I want to talk about is blending stuff with other stuff. Like, uh, let me see. I will just grab a, uh, maybe a stock. I think I'll choose this picture. And I want to blend kind of this uh, smoke. It's not really that good. But uh, just try. Okay. There's different types of um, blending. My, the way that I prefer to do it is uh, with a clipping mask then I change it to a gradient tool just hit right click or hold your click and choose the gradient tool it's the letter G and uh, you should uh, set it to this black and white uh, gradient and have it on this uh, first one the linear gradient mode is normal opacity 100% not reverse the third transparency now you can like just move it like that and you will see parts getting uh, kinda blended now you can like maybe uh, take your brush tool and uh, erase maybe the edge and this would kinda blend in but the, the difference is that 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 picture uh, is like has a kind of gray colors and the uh, background image is mostly blue so there is a difference but this is kind of how you uh, you would blend pictures and what we're gonna do here today is just blending stuff so I'll just close that I, I just wanted to show you guys all right, now I'll open up a new file. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but uh, you can save files in three formats. It's actually four, but I'm gonna talk about three only for this tutorial. You go to save as, and there's a first one which is the PSD, which you can like. It's the kind of source file that you can go back and edit all the time. Uh. I will just save it as a PSD for right now and then I can go to back to the uh, and save it again as a .jpg save as on a larger and uh, you can save it as a PNG but uh, I use PNG only when I have uh, transparency, uh, transparency stuff in it so like if I don't want a background I'll just save it as .png so it won't save as a white background. I'll start a new file with these settings and hit OK. Uh, let me see. Open up this file. Put it out there. I'll delete the first layer. Now put your render on uh, there. I prefer to choose the uh, kind of real characters renders. I guess you can choose the game renders too as well, but uh, I prefer this one. Um. 
Yeah, something like that. Then I will add up my um, clock stock. I'll set it around there. Uh, making the uh, clock mask. And with the, uh, I'll just erase by the, uh, my with my brush. This won't look perfect, but uh, it helps. I will set this to screen. All right. Uh, I will uh, delete this part too. Then I will add my kind of shot tower or whatever you want to call it. I just hit uh, the letter V to get my move tool. I'll kind of rotate this one. And press OK. Same thing, uh, just erase the edges. Well, it's not really the edges, it's the background. You won't get a perfect cut because it's a soft brush. And if you want to get a perfect cut, you can cut it with the pen tool. But this is just the uh, way to kind of get these stuff together. Alright. Next, we I'm going to add, add uh, uh, this kind of cloud stock. around there maybe some more press ok I'm gonna put this on um uh, think uh, lighter color yeah and I will lower the opacity I will erase some stuff too as well I'll put this on top of the uh, render Oops. All right, and now people would uh, yeah for the uh, color adjustments and uh, they would use uh, uh, PSD coloring. So like go to deviantart.com and just hit be uh, it. PSD coloring and you would get different kinds of PSD coloring it's all done in Photoshop but it's already someone made it and you can like just put it in Photoshop and then copy it right here you can do your own and or you can uh, download some since I don't want to do it right now and I don't really do uh, many of them, so I'll just copy them. I guess I'll put this in one group. I'll hit, uh, I will select the first layer and hold Shift and select the last layer. Select them all, and now hit Control and G or Command and G. Go to the second one. I will choose the first group and the second, and hit Control and G to get them all in one group. Alright, now you can add up, you can put them on top of the, uh, your, uh, signature. I'll put the, uh, the first group under the second one. Uh, now make a, a new layer. I will choose my paint bucket tool with the, uh, white, uh, background. And now I'll set it to uh, dissolve, and I'll put the uh, sorry I'll put the opacity on one percent, so I would get this. Now with the uh, make a ma make mask, and just erase some parts. You know, something like that. Now make a new layer on top of it, and uh, 
on, let me see. Uh, I'll make the. Uh, I'll sorry. I'll hit Control and A or Command and A to get the selection around the canvas, and go to Edit Stroke. I will choose uh, three pixels uh, white stroke and hit OK. I'll get this. Now I'll uh, I'll show you. I'll get this. I'll go to stroke and go and choose pattern and put this pattern on and uh, put change this to one. This pattern is not the default or one of the defaults uh, I'll show you how you can do that go to file new and make it like two pixels by two pixels and uh, make sure that the uh, background is transparent hit ok now uh, hit right click or just uh, hold your click hold your click and uh, choose the pencil tool I'll uh, choose my black uh, color and hit once then once again <laughs> and then I'll change it to white and same thing hit once then hit it again so you'd have this kinda shape or result now go to edit define pattern this would pop up you can do whatever you want to uh... won't really matter go back here go to stroke choose the pattern and here you have your new pattern which is the same thing which will give you this effect see okay I will put this in a in a group which uh I will have all my uh the uh text layers and stuff in it. I'll make a new layer on top of the uh white thingy. Uh this layer would be I would hit control alt and E to apply the image. I'll go to filter topaz labs topaz clean 3 I've already said my uh, options it's the uh, kinda oops sorry it's kinda the uh, thing the crisp uh, crisp style and I lowered the strength and threshold and all that stuff I'll hit OK now I'll make a new layer. Uh, control Alt, Control Shift Alt and E to apply the image. Then go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen. You can lower the opacity if you want to. Uh, now just uh, make a new layer on top of it. Apply the image. Then go to Filter, Other. High pass. You don't have to do this, but I really like doing it. Then I'll hit Control and I, then go to Filter, Sharpen, Sharpen. Set it soft light. Lower the opacity, and it kind of like balances the uh, colors of the of the piece or the uh, signature. Alright, now we will have our text and stuff. I will write my name, uh, Baron Basri, or I'll just make it Baron Basri123 for my YouTube account name. And here I will choose the uh, round rectangle tool, something like that. Uh, I'll change the fill color to something like that. Um, yep. 
and right uh, I guess uh, Photoshop tutorial I don't really know what to write I'll just hit Photoshop tut with a tutorial I'll choose Tahoma 11 point and put it to none and go to my um, character settings or whatever it's called and uh, like just uh, deselect the bold or kind of like don't choose the bold <laughs> because uh, in here I have I have it already set on the on the bold uh, setting so I don't know and uh, you can add your uh, copyrights if you want to or all of that I'm not really going to going to uh, add them but uh, that's basically it uh, sorry if this tutorial wasn't as good as you thought but uh, this really isn't the kind that I, of a signature that I like to work with I really like wa uh, watching other people uh, doing it but I'm not good at making them uh, hopefully this story hopefully you liked my tutorial today I will post some links in the description for some of, m of the artists uh, who really really good at making these kind of signatures everything will be in the description I don't I don't own any of the rights of this tutorial Hopefully uh, I helped you. Uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, check out check out my other videos. Like me on Facebook, all that good stuff. If you need help with anything with the graphic design, I'm more you're more than welcome to just ask me and I will answer you. Everything in the description. You can send me uh, private messages if you want to. All that good stuff. Hopefully I like my child and see you next week. Bye bye.